Hey everyone, this is Shukshika Rajkuma from Arduino Projects by R and today I'm going to present you a small tutorial about the HC06 Bluetooth module. In this video, you will learn the basics of this module and how to successfully interface it with the Arduino development board. What I have here is the HC06 Bluetooth module. This Bluetooth module is designed for establishing short range wireless data communication within 100 meters. It is very easy to interface and communicate. It can be interfaced with almost all microcontrollers or processors as it uses the UART interface. For those who are unsure about the UART interface, UART stands for Universal Asynchronous Receiver Transmitter and it's a block of circuitry responsible for implementing serial communication. Essentially, it acts as an intermediary between parallel and serial interface. This Bluetooth module can transmit files at speed up to 2.1 megabytes per second. It works on Bluetooth 2.0 communication protocol and it can only act as a slave device. The device works on the frequency range from 2.402 GHz to 2.480 GHz. The operating voltage range of this Bluetooth module is 3.6 to 6 volts. For this HC06 uh, Bluetooth module, we'll only be using the four pins, which is the receive pin, the transmit pin, the ground, and VCC pin. The RX pin will be connected to the transmit pin of the Arduino development board through a voltage divider and the TXT pin will be connected to the receive pin of the Arduino development board. The ground will be connected to Arduino's ground but if you are using separate power sources, the ground of the Arduino and the module must be connected for voltage reference. The VCC pin of this Bluetooth model must be connected to 5 volts of the Arduino board. Before interfacing the HC06 Bluetooth model with your Arduino development board, you'll need to set up your Bluetooth model. For this, you'll have to enter the AT mode. To enter the AT mode, you'll be needing the USB to TTL serial converter module. And to connect the USB to TTL serial converter module with the HC06 Bluetooth module, you'll be needing some female to female jumper wires. The 5-volt pin of the USB to TTL serial converter module must be connected to the 5 volt of the Bluetooth module. The ground must be connected to the Bluetooth module's ground and the RXD pin must be connected to Bluetooth module's TX pin. The TX pin of the USB to TTL serial converter module must be connected to the Bluetooth module's RX pin. The HC06 module is permanently configured to be slave and is always in AT mode when not paired to any other device. Open Arduino IDE, go to Tools, select the port. and open serial monitor. 
So the baud rate 9600 baud's as it's the default baud rate of the HC06 Bluetooth module. Now let's check the connection. Make sure to set the line ending as both new line and carriage return. Now type in 80 to check the connection. And tap on send. If the Bluetooth module is in 80 mode, you'll see that the response is OK. Now you've got OK, which means that the Bluetooth module is in 80 mode. Now let's check the default name of the Bluetooth module. For this, you'll have to type in 80 plus name. The default name of the HC06 Bluetooth module is HC06. To check the version, type 80 plus version. To check the default board rate of the HC06 Bluetooth module, type in 80 plus UART. Now you can see that the U the board rate is defined as 9600 boards. To get the default password of the Bluetooth module, type in 80 plus PSWD. And now you can get the default pin which is 1234. You will need this pin to pair your HC06 Bluetooth model with other devices. For this project, you'll be needing an Arduino Nano, solderless breadboard. You could also use a half plus solderless breadboard. You'll be needing the HC06 Bluetooth module, three 1K ohm resistors, male to male jumper wires, and some jumpers. The jumpers is totally optional here. You could use some male to male jumper wires instead of them. Though the Arduino boards have a serial port at D0 and D1, uh, in this project you will be using the D2 pin as the receive pin and the D3 pin as the transmit pin. The Arduino Nano communicates with the D0 and D1 pins as well as the computer where it's USB. We are using the serial functions so we cannot use these pins. Therefore, we will be using the D2 and D3 pins for communication with the HC06 Bluetooth module. We have used a voltage divider here and the voltage divider is used for converting the 5 volt logic signal sent by Arduino D3 pin to 3.3 logic signals which is suitable for the module. Now let me explain you the voltage divider principle. Before that, we have to con we have to draw out the voltage divider circuit to get a clear understanding. This point is the V input. And this point is where we are connecting the Bluetooth modules uh, receive pin so I'll mention that as V out this is the 1k ohm resistor I already mentioned we're using the voltage divider to convert the 5 volt logic signal to 3.3 volt logic signal the current is same everywhere in a series circuit 
voltage is equal to current into resistance and the V in can be calculated by current into the resistance of all three resistors. Whereas the V output is equal to current into R2 plus R3. You could use a 2K ohm resistor instead of both these resistors. Since I did, uh, did not have a 2K ohm resistor with me, I've used two 1K ohm resistors in series. We already know that the V input is 5 volts. We do not know the value of the current. We know the values of R1, R2 and R3. And now I'm going to show you that with these resistors, the V output will be 3.3 volts, which is suitable for the Bluetooth module. Now let's make I the subject of this equation. Let's do the same for this one as well. And now it's time to substitute the values. And now you can see that V out is equal to 3.3 volts. This is the voltage divider principle in this project. And now let me show you how this project works. I hope all of you would now have a better understanding of the HC06 Bluetooth module. I'm currently working on my next project using this Bluetooth module so stay tuned. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done that already. Click on the bell icon to receive notifications about my updates. Thanks for watching. Hope you all liked this tutorial. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment and share.